Hello there my fellow YouTubers, this is Simply Tutorials, where the tutorials are simple. And in this video, we're going to be animating in Anime Studio, um, Steve from Minecraft. So stay tuned. Okay, now we got Anime Studio open, and first things first, we're going to want to add, we're going to click New Project. We'll click New, right there. Like no, and that that's how you get to where I'm at. Just for people that didn't know. And we're gonna click this little arrow. I mean not arrow, but this you see my mouse right here. Just click it, new layer, and we're gonna make sure we click image. Okay, we're gonna locate our picture, which in my case would be where's it at? I know I got it somewhere. This PC pictures scroll down until I get to PNGs project right there PNGs okay go to Steve and we're gonna this is the main picture we're going for but I had to cut them up and if you want to see a video on that just leave a comment and I will make one it's not hard that's why I didn't make one but now I'll make it if you need it let's open up the body first Okay, now we got our body. We need to put them in the center. Right there. Add another image. Um, the left arm. Okay, try to center that up. We'll make it perfect later. Right arm. And so on. You know, just keep adding. Um, left leg. right leg where is it at right there okay and the head Ta -da. okay <coughs> sorry about that not feeling my a game today we could delete that and we are going to try to make everything really nice so let's go over here and we're gonna take the body and we're gonna make sure it fits really good on top. Yeah, that's pretty good. We need to move the left arm over a little bit though. There we go. Head. Nope, needs to be a little more. We're not shooting for grade A perfect, but you know, I want it to be able to where you can't see a white line. There we go. Now the right, um, the right arm looks like it needs to come up a little bit, but just a bit, a little bit more. That'll work. Now let's go to the legs, so we can see the head. When the head needs to come down a little bit. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now that we've got that done, we need a thing, and it's called a bone. And before I go, and um, I'm going to add one bone, and I'm going to show you something that a lot of people run into, and they wonder why they can't add any more bones. There is no limit, you know. I'm just going to show you what prevents you from stopping, from adding bones. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to go where we're going to add the bone. We're going to do the left arm first. Click here, click bone. I'm not gonna call it left arm underscore B or left arm bone. And then we're gonna put our left arm inside of it. That way it looks like that. Okay, and then we're gonna go over here and see this little bone right here, and it looks like a little dog bone. And this is add bone. And we're going to click it, a little plus, and we're going to drag right to the bottom. And then we're going to see the little bone with the, it looks like it's inside of a bubble. Click it. And that's the strength of the bone, I guess you could say. We're going to make it about the size of the arm. 
You know, it ain't got to be perfect, like I said before. And now you'll notice that you can go over to here. Where is it at? Manipulate bone. See? And if you wanted to, you could just go ahead and delete that. We'll add the bone here. Ooh, darn it. From the top. About midway down. And then add another one. And then hit the up arrow. And then we're going to strength down each one. That way, when you go to manipulate, you can be like that. Which I think is pretty cool. And we're going to go with that one for the ones, because it's, it's a little harder. But, you know, you'll get the gist of learning it. So that's what this video is about. Now let's do the right arm. Add another bone. R R I right underscore arm underscore B. B stands for bone if you haven't gathered that yet. And then drag it in there. Boom. We can close that the left arm up because we're done with that right now. Okay, click right arm. And just rinse and repeat. It's not hard. Like I said, it ain't got to be perfect. Just make sure you hit the up button. I don't know why that's how I learned. But I think the up button actually joins them together. So that they're not two separate bones. They're just like a elbow or something. And now let's make sure that's working like it's supposed to. Hmm. Control Z. There we go. Now let's do the legs. Left leg, add a bone. Left underscore leg underscore B. Drag and drop it. Um, click on the actual bone. There we go. The width of the bone or strength. And then we'll do the right leg. Bone. R I right underscore leg underscore bone. Oh, I underscore beat. My bad. Okay. The strength of the bone or the width, you know, depending on who you talk to. There we go. Okay. Now we need to get to the animation stage. Now a lot of people get confused, messed up. Like I said earlier, I was going to explain. Um, you see how you see the add bone tool and you've got the bone strength and offset bone and all that stuff. If you take this scale at the bottom, the timeline, move it to 24. You notice all that stuff disappeared. Only a few handful of selections are left. And if we go back to zero, they came back. Because you can't, once you, um, you can't add bones past the zero frame of the timeline. You have to be at zero in order to add bones and stuff like that. Um, add layers. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your animation. If you can't seem to do something, go back to zero frame and then see if you could do it then. Usually that helps. Not all the time, but usually. Well, anyway, let's go to frame one. And we are going to go to the right arm. We're going to put it in the air. No, actually, we're going to leave it down. Leave it down right there. We added a frame. And then we'll go to... 24. We're going to put it in there. And we're going to do the same thing for, um, we're going to go back to 1. We can go to the, to the, um, right, left arm right there. And you notice the keyframe's gone because we clicked on a different section. We clicked on an arm. But you're going to right click. Add keyframe. Go 
fill the 24 and we're going to manipulate it up there and do the we do the same thing for the legs the legs right leg that one already has a keyframe on it that's good that's just that one so what we'll do is we'll just right leg we'll just move it right there and if we play our animation and we're gonna put that leg down actually we'll drag that to 36 and then on 48 we'll just do like maybe right like that there we go and then arm we'll just move the arm down just a little bit And there you go and that's just a simple animation um you can always change from 240 frames to we'll say 72 and there i mean the active timeline is only 72 frames before it restarts you know you know it's very easy to do this um i hate it took a it's taken uh, almost 12 minutes to make this video but I hope you learned something. I hope that if you, I hope that you just, it's soaked in, you know, because I like to see people learn from my videos. It just makes me feel good inside. If, um, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions or anything like that, just hit me up in the comment section or you can send me a private message via YouTube. Um, Shortly, I may or may not set up um, like um, a Skype account or something just for this channel. So if you have any questions and you really need help and you just can't seem to get it, no matter what you do, you know, then I will try to walk you through that personally. Um, but for the most part, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, like I said earlier. And I shall see you in the next video.